how did you get into the field of heart failure and what made you interested in advanced um, hemodynamics? Um, well, I um, read uh, Brownwald's textbook when I was uh, in training as an intern and as a resident and I saw a lot of patients with cardiac disease and just got really turned on to hemodynamics with that. And, um, you know, hemodynamics is, uh, that's what heart failure is all about. So, um, trained myself, uh, learning a lot of that stuff, learned from some really smart people, um, had a mentor who took me to the next level, and, and that's really where my careers started. And where do you see the field of heart failure going? Um, well, I think it depends what kind of heart failure, you know. hef uh, <laughs> So, I mean, we've seen big advances for systolic heart failure, but hef uh, we're really not making much headway. So, uh, we're learning more about it. As you know, we're, we're, we're realizing it's not just diastole, it's more complicated. There's abnormalities in systolic function and vascular function and peripheral function. And I think, you know, better phenotyping patients into different categories instead of just saying everybody's HEFPEF, having different subcategories, and, and then trying to identify overarching processes that lead to all those combined limitations. That's probably where the money's gonna be to make some headway in this disease. Right. What advice do you have for fellows who are interested in the field? Um, pursue something that you love, that you're interested in, something that intrigues you, and then learn everything you can about it. Go back to the papers from the 1950s and 60s if you have to. Read everything. Develop your own questions. Get together with a good mentor that's going to care about you and uh, really focus on that area, and that's going to be your best shot. Don't try to be too diffuse and specialize in lots of things, but really focus on one thing and do it, do it well. Thank you very much.